Okay, so basically what you have here is an isometric view of a given figure. They say the figure shows, the given figure shows an isometric view of a model. So it's just a model, it's nothing. It's just a model. Draw in third angle orthographic projection the front view, top view, and right view of the model. Okay, so now what I did here is I basically just colored in red what is going to be the top view. Okay, so also with the top view, you will see this slanted piece there. Okay, it's not going to look slanted because of the way that you are looking at it. Then in blue, um, the front view, you will see here that's your front view. And then these two lines are going to be hidden detail. Okay? As well as this one here. And then there should be one going down there. Okay? That's also hidden detail. Why? Because we won't be able to see it from the view that we are looking at it. Like I explained to you, if you have a cavity in your tooth, um, you won't be able to actually see the whole shape of the cavity until you like cut open your teeth and then you look at the inside. And that is what's going to happen when we start sectioning these views. Okay, so now when we start with this, um, you know that you don't start on the drawing, like the drawings on top of one another. You have these guidelines that separate them. Okay, so that's why they show you the circle. So touching the circle, I did four construction lines. It's just there for construction purposes to guide me on where to start so that I don't start my drawing on top of one another. So now I'm going to look firstly at my front view. Now, because it's a third angle, so third angle, meaning my front view will go into the third block. Okay, so the th third angle, they told me that in the question, my front view will go into the third block. So if I had to look at my blocks, one, two, three. So the front view will go here. That means then that the top view will go to the top. And because the top view is at the top, everything stays the same. They then want a right view, so the right view will go on the right hand side of the front view. So now we need to do dimensioning. So firstly, with dimensioning, they say that your front view is a total length of 75. So take your compass, set your compass on 75. In the corner of the guidelines that you have, so this line and that line, you are going to do a scribe to give you your total length, okay? So there's a scribe to do your total length. Um, and then just tell me if I'm drawing too light and you can't see, but there's the scribe. If you pay attention, you'll be able to see that. So now what I'm going to do is, yes, from that point there. Okay, not from the center, from there. We don't work on the center lines. Okay, so now I'm just going to draw that line down so that I have it as a reference. And I'm also going to project it to the top. Because, why am I projecting it to the top? Because I want that same distance to give me my total length for my top view. Okay, then, after I have this total length, which I got from here, the 75, there, ne? I now want to look at my height. So I have a height of 15 and 45. So that's going to give me a total height of 60. But I still have to then divide that. So I'm firstly going to measure my 60. So with my compass, yes. Yeah. You measure your 75, which I got from here. The view. Okay, so my 60, I put my compass, I measure 60 on my board. And then I set it in that corner. And now instead of scribing the like horizontally, I'm going to scribe vertically. And that's going to give me my total height of my actual drawing. Close that down so that I have a little square or rectangle because it's not equal sided. OK, 
Okay, so now I have a little rectangle there, and this is all in construction, so it's supposed to be C type of lines. Né? Now, I don't have to go and measure the 45 and the 15, because I already have the total height. So I am literally going to measure the 15. You can choose if you want to do the 45 or the 15. I'm doing the 15. And the 15 is from the bottom to the top. So from the bottom to the top. You can either scribe it here or you can scribe it here. That does not matter where you scribe that. And then I'm going to draw that line in construction. Everything in construction. That's skew. Sorry, I can't put my head over my board because otherwise it's going to be on the camera. <clears throat> Okay, so there's my 15. Do you guys see that? So now, when I look at my drawing here, I basically have this total length, I have this 15, I have this total length, okay? And now remember, because I'm looking at this drawing, it is a semicircle here, but when I look at it from the side, like two-dimensionally, if I take my pencil... And I had to draw it two-dimensionally. It would just be two lines here, am I correct? But in reality, if you guys are looking at it, it's round. Ne? Okay, so my pencil is round. But two-dimensionally, just two lines. So even though it's rounded here, which I can see on this view, I will only represent this line going down here. Basically, it's not actually a line. It's a line that you create to show that's the edge of your circle. Okay, so the edge there of your semicircle. Okay, so now I have that, which is basically this line here. Now I need to find how thick is this piece here that I'm going to see that gives me my L shape. So that dimension I find here. So you just have to go and look at your different views. Obviously that side and that side, you can see they are exactly the same, meaning the dimension I have here is the same as the dimension that I have there. So that is 20, so I'm going to set my compass on 20. And now I want to measure this distance. So where is that point on my drawing? It's there. So that point there, scribe. And then I'm going to project it down. And where that line and my line that I projected across intersects one another so I just draw it up to there that's where my drawing is so basically I'm just gonna make this line a little bit lighter that line won't be there don't erase it I'm just making it lighter so that you guys don't really see it um, so that's now basically the outline of my drawing I know that is what I will have so I am going to draw that in solid now solid is a type of lines So that is the L shape. And please look at how I use my equipment so that you guys can get into the hang of actually using your equipment properly. I don't use a ruler to measure. Get into the habits of that. Rulers are inaccurate. They're not calibrated. Um, normal like these normal rulers. Don't use them. Use your boards rulers if you want to measure. Okay, so that's basically what I have is what I have. Okay, that's what I want. But, okay, so they don't ask for hidden detail, but I'm going to get us right into drawing hidden detail. Um so that you guys can get used to drawing that. So now on the front view, for the hidden detail, I showed you guys I'm going to have this line and that line there. Okay? Where my um, figure basically changes shape. So I need to go and get that dimension. So now I can get those dimensions from there. 25 and 10. So I'm firstly going to measure 25. And where do I measure it from? 
So where do I scribe it from? From that corner, which is the same as that corner. So here. Okay? And then I'm going to do my 10, which is the next dimension. 10. And the 10 goes, if I look at the arrow heads, it's from there to there. So from the bottom of the 25, you measure 10 down, okay? So I've already have my 25. So from the 25, I'm going to scribe my 10. And then that is hidden detail. Now, hidden detail, what you can do is, I'm going to show you two ways of drawing this. You can either draw dash, 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 dash lines. You can do it like that. It doesn't have to be exactly equally spaced. Or what you can do is um, you draw a solid line. Then there's a thing called an erasing shield. I don't have one. It's like a little plaque. And it has little lines in it that you can use to put over that line. Do you have one? I just want to show them how to use it. Yo, quickly give me that. I just want to show you guys how to use this. You, it's a nice to have. It's not a necessity, okay? It's a really nice to have. Okay, so it looks like this. It has, these are your dashed lines. Okay, so I set it over that line. And there I have perfectly um, equally spaced lines, okay? You don't have to do it like that. Or if you want to, you can just take your eraser and go and erase parts of your line. That's the other thing that you can do. Okay, so that's now my first hidden detail. What else is going to be hidden detail on this drawing here that I cannot see? The, yeah, okay, yeah. The, this hole. Okay, it's a, it's a cavity. It's a hole. So I need to find that hole. Now, they tell me the hole is, if there's like a little square in front of the dimension, it means it's equal like 16 squares. 16 squared, okay? 16 by 16. So I'm going to, I can't measure the 16 first. I can use two methods of doing this. I can work from the center and take 25 because that is the dimension of my semicircle. Or I can work from here and measure 22. Okay? If I'm going to work from the 25, I then have to set my compass on 8 when I do my circle because it's from the middle. 8 and 8 gives me 16. Am I correct? Okay, but if I measure from the 22, which I'm going to do, I can just in as well do 16. So I'm going to set my compass on 22. Set it in this corner because that's where the 22 comes from. You guys see that? So you must pay attention to where you're reading your dimensions from. There's my 22 and then I set my compass on 16. And I scribe my 16. And then I'm just going to do my dashed lines for my hidden detail. Okay, and that is my front view done. Okay, that's my front view done. Now, you can choose which view you're going to start with next, but I'm going to start with the top view next. Normally, the view that you will go to is the view that requires the most detail, that has the most marks, okay? So, you'll start off with the view that has the most marks, and then you'll go to the view that has the second most marks, and so forth, okay? So, now what I'm going to do is I already projected that line to the top, where my top view is. That one I'm going to project to the top. This hidden detail, I'm also projecting to the top. And you don't have to project it using um, uh, dashed lines, okay? You can project it just with construction. Please don't do dashed lines when you do projection or hidden detail, okay? So that is now my construction that I have here for my top view. The widths I have, the length I have. I need to find now, basically here... 
this width. So, reading my dimension, I have a 50 and I have a 35, okay? So, I'm going to first show you how the 50 is easy. And then I'm going to show you, you must, first, you must find your center to work with the rest. So, you know the half of 50 is 25. Am I correct? Hmm? 34, sorry. 34. So, 50. I scribed 50. I'm going to project it across. Yes, we're on the top B now. Okay, so now I have that line going across. So now, I need to find, there's a 10 there for that little distance there, and there's a 34 there. I need to find where I'm going to work with them. So now I know half of 50 is 40 or 25. If you do not know the center, do a um, bisection, okay? Do a bisection, but I know obviously 50, half of 50 is 25, so I'm just going to do that. And now, because this is a semicircle, do you guys see there's a center line going through here? So I am immediately going to go and draw this line as a center line. And a center line is a dash dot line. Do you guys see it's a dash dot line? So a longer line, small space, small line, small space, longer line, okay? So now I have my center. So now I'm going to work from the center. So um, half of 34 is 17. So I'm going to set my compass on 17. And I'm going to scribe to both sides. You see? What I do is I just turn my compass and I scribe to both sides. Okay, and now I know that it's just this little bit on the 20 that these lines are going to be at. So there. And there. Okay. Then the next place, space that I have there, that's that 10 that we're looking at here at the bottom. The 10. So, set my compass now not on 10, but on 5. Because I'm working from the center. Do you guys understand that? Because I'm working from the center. I'm setting my compass on 5. So that my total distance for that line is now 10. Yes? Can you not talk? When someone's asking a question, you're not in any case supposed to be talking. Sorry? Say again. One comma six what? We don't use one comma six millimeters, we sixteen is sixteen millimeters. We don't work in centimeters. Millimeters, yes. Okay. Okay, so just to finish this, 25 for your circle. Set your compass on 25. On the edge here, yeah. get your center line. There's my center. Set my compass on that center. Okay, so I did my circle. Now what I did is I just found my center here for my square, which was 8. Scribe 8. Scribe 8. And I close my circle. 
Ahnan ma sueko ma sue. Okay, and there's your drawing so far. We will continue with the um, right view.